Are you looking to add diversity to your discus aquarium? Discus are one of the most prized and respected fish in the hobby. Their unique colors, docile nature, and exclusive price tag make them the holy grail for most fish keepers. That said, discus doesn't have to be kept in species-only tanks. Well, I believe a discus tank should only accommodate discus fish considering the amount of care and dedication these fish require to live happily. However, on your request to find perfect tank mates for discus, here is the video for you. In this video, we will cover the best 15 tank mates for discus fish. Along with that, you will learn some logical facts about keeping these tank mates with your discus fish. But before going to our list of best tank mates for discus fish first, let's learn what parameters you should know before introducing any of these tank mates to your discus fish tank. For choosing discus tank mates, you should consider these factors. Temperament. Discus fish are naturally shy, timid and calm. Hence, they enjoy a calm and peaceful school around them. While choosing the tank mates, always avoid keeping tank mates that may turn out bullies for your discus fish. Therefore, you should never add larger fish species and aggressive fish to your discus tank. Size. Discus fish prefer small schooling fish in a nice display tank, such as cherisons. In a discus aquarium, when your fish will sense cherisons in it, they will come out naturally because they assume they're safe to swim with cherisons in the open. I recommend keeping a large school of cherisons, including neon tetras, cardinal tetras, and rummy nose tetras, that imitate the natural habitat of discus fish and thrive together in the same water quality. Competition. It's vital to consider tank mates that would not dominate and outcompete the discus fish for food. Also, discus fish are slow eaters. Therefore, you should avoid fast eaters as the discus fish tank mates and avoid fish that are usually calm but aggressive at feeding time. There are a few more parameters that you should know, but to keep the video on the topic, these are the major ones you should consider. To know more about these parameters, you can visit our official website aquariumstoredepot.com. You will get the link in the description of this video. And if you like our content, then please subscribe to Aquarium Store Depot for more amazing videos like this. With that said, let's dive into the list of best tank mates for discus fish. In the first position, let's learn about Siamese algae eaters, one of the famous algae eaters in the hobby. Siamese algae eaters are bottom-dwelling algae eaters with sucker mouths that help them stick to soft surfaces in strong water currents. The Siamese algae eater is a medium-sized species of the carp family that reaches a maximum size of around 6 inches in captivity. The body of the Siamese algae eater is slender, torpedo-shaped, with a single horizontal stripe in front of its eyes and transparent body. They make good tank mates with discus fish as they are peaceful fish species and primarily unaware of the activities of upper-level fish in the community tank. Now let's move to our next fish on this list which is dwarf gourami. Dwarf guramis are tropical freshwater fish from India, Burma, and Borneo. These fish are known for amazing colors. The males in these species are more colorful than females with pointed dorsal fins. Females, on the other hand, are more silvery with round dorsal fins. Dwarf guramis make good discus tank mates as they are peaceful and prefers warmer temperature and need a larger tank of around 10 gallons. However, they need access to the surface air to breathe. So, they are ideal for beginners. After dwarf guramis, let's talk about harlequin rasporas, our next fish on this list. Harlequin raspora, or the red raspora, are delightful and peaceful fish species from Singapore, Sumatra, and are usually seen around small streams. They prefer water to be soft, acidic, and low in total salts, which makes them ideal tank mates for the discus fish. Harlequin rasporas are tropical freshwater fish species that grow around 2 inches and live for about 6 years within a water temperature of approximately 73 to 82 degrees. The harlequin raspora makes great tank mates for the discus fish because they are a schooling fish and ideal for a community tank of small fish species. After harlequin rasporas, now let's learn about rummy nose tetras, one of the famous fish in community tanks. 
Rummy Nose Tetra is a gentle and popular aquarium fish with a unique appearance that will leave you in awe. There are three types of fish under the Rummy Nose Tetra species. The Rummy Tetras are native to Amazon basins and the Orinoco River in Brazil and Venezuela. Rummy Nose Tetras are small fish around 2 inches long, ideal for a discus tank. They have a very calm and peaceful temperament, so they enjoy their own company. Also, they are schooling fish that reside in the middle section of a fish tank in a group of six or more. After Rummy Nose Tetras, now let's talk about Cardinal Tetra. Cardinal Tetras enhance the beauty of your aquarium, adding extra red color and unusual movement in your fish tank. One primary reason for Cardinal Tetra's popularity is their beautiful colors, which adds beauty to your discus fish tank. However, despite being a hardy freshwater fish, Cardinal Tetra is challenging to breed in captivity. They are compatible tank mates for discus fish because they only grow up to 2 inches in length and have a shorter lifespan of around 1 year. After Cardinal Tetras, now let's learn about Neon Tetra. Neon Tetras are one of the most popular aquarium fish, reaching a maximum length of over 1.5 inches. Because of their uncanny resemblance, new fish keepers can hardly differentiate between a Neon Tetra and a Cardinal Tetra. However, the distinguishing factor is in the red stripes. If the stripes are short, the fish is Neon Tetra. The Neon Tetra is a tropical freshwater fish from the Amazon River. Therefore, it prefers moderately warm water of around 76 degrees with relatively soft and acidic water. The best thing about Neon Tetras as discus tank mates is they are schooling fish that appreciates living in a group of at least 10 or more. They are not solitary fish. They will die of stress and loneliness if kept alone. Neon Tetras are peaceful and can be kept easily with other non-aggressive fish, such as the discus. After Neon Tetras, let's talk about Pencil Fish, one more attractive fish in the aquarium hobby. Pencil Fish are shy little aquarium fish that like to hang out with other little dwarf fish in the tank. They are slow swimmers, so make a great discus tank mate that will allow plenty of feeding time for your discus fish. Now let's learn about plecows. Plecow fish are bottom-feeding algae eaters, freshwater fish that have sucker-shaped mouths and bony plates all over their bodies. They are South American fish originating from the Amazon. Plecows are usually called janitor fish because they are scavengers and eat almost everything. Hence, ideal for beginners. They prefer warmer temperatures and are highly territorial with other plecos. Thus, keeping one plecow at a time in a discus fish tank is what I can recommend to you. After plecow fish, now let's talk about Corydora's catfish. Are you looking for a peaceful beginner fish with tons of personality that you can add to your discus tank? Corydora's catfish is one of the most popular community fish because they're so happy, easy to breed, and helpful as a cleanup crew. They are incredibly peaceful and never bother other aquarium fish. Corydoras are bottom dwellers and are primarily busy searching for food at the bottom. One big reason they are good tank mates for discus is that they generally do not grow more than 3 inches in length and enjoy the company of fellow Corydoras and other fish, including the discus fish. The water parameters required by the Corydoras are much like the discus fish. After Corydoras catfish, let's learn about our next fish which is German Blue Ram Cichlids. I recommend keeping German Blue Rams in a discus tank because of their amazing pop of color and peaceful nature, contrary to other cichlids. The German Blue Rams are small freshwater aquarium fish that do not exceed 2 to 3 inches. So, they can become the best tank mates for your discus fish. However, I advise keeping German Blue Ram and discus with caution as German Blue Rams like to form their own territory it is recommended to provide plenty of cover towards the bottom of the tank in the form of pots, caves, and other rocks. After ram cichlids, now let's talk about freshwater angelfish. You must have figured out that discus fish can live with other mates. They tend to move slowly in schools and shoals and thus need tank mates to entertain them. Freshwater angelfish make the best discus tank mates because they are alike in their behavior, movement, and feeding habits. However, to keep angelfish and discus fish together, you must take some precautions because angelfish can become aggressive and territorial when feeding and in breeding time. 
So, you must ensure that your discus fish are well fed if you are thinking to keep them with freshwater angelfish. Now let's learn about our next tank mate for discus fish, which is rainbow fish. Rainbow fish are beautiful and peaceful and complement discus fish, considering their temperament and required water parameters. Rainbow fish is a group of over 50 species from Australia, Madagascar, New Guinea, and Sulawesi. They are small fish around 2 to 6 inches long and love free space for easy swimming. Like discus, they must be kept in large aquariums with several plants and other hiding places. Rainbow fish and discus are compatible because their water requirements are the same. Therefore, keeping a school of five or more rainbow fishes in the tank is recommended to keep them healthy and happy. After rainbow fish, now let's learn about clown loaches. Clown loaches are easy to care for and highly hardy fish species, appropriate for fish keepers of any skill level. They are peaceful freshwater fish with a vibrant appearance that perfectly depicts their name. Clown loaches also thrive at the same warm water temperatures that discus enjoys. However, I always list them as the controversial tank mates for discus, as they can grow quite large, which is not ideal for discus. After clown loaches, now let's talk about white cloud mountain minnows. As the name suggests, the white cloud mountain minnow originates from the white cloud mountains of China. It's a popular aquarium fish that is colorful, peaceful, docile, and hence, the best community fish for discus. After white cloud mountain minnows, let's talk about the last fish on our list, which is bloodfin tetra. Like white cloud mountain minnows, bloodfin tetras enjoy excellent freshwater tank conditions. Therefore, if you're an inexperienced aquarist, I don't recommend keeping them with discus fish. Also, bloodfin tetras are active swimmers, buzzing in groups and rarely aggressive during feeding hours. Apart from that, they are peaceful fish, swimming in the upper and middle level of the tank and getting along with discus fish pretty well. Discus fish are beautiful, peaceful and docile fish that appreciates a well-planted community tank with compatible tank mates. While choosing the best tank mates for discus fish, Remember to always opt for a large community tank with enough greenery and hiding spots to provide your aquarium fish with enough entertainment. So I hope this video helped you a lot. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you guys thrive in the aquarium hobby. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to add mates to your betta fish tank, then you can watch the video popping on your screen.